Some of Australia's best horses and harness racing industry identities have plied their trade in the Riverina. Now a new chapter will be written at the now annual Easter weekend program. Hello and welcome to the Sprint Lane. I'm Isabel Ross and it's going to be a great night at Wagga on Saturday night with two Group 1s. Let's see how they qualified. Yaron and Bella, Winona Ryder storming home down the outside. It's going to get desperate. Winona Ryder. And it's Antonia who takes out the second heat. Antonia first. But it's all Ideal Dan who's storming away. And Ideal Dan's going to win it brilliantly. Second is close. Here's JOK who levels up. JOK goes past them. And JOK into the final comfortably on us. Thank you, Nathan and Isabel. Some absolute quality sealing their place in those finals. On that same program, Blake Jones drove a double. Nathan Jack drove three winners for the night as well. Armour Renegade and Mossman fighting this out. This will get close. Armour Renegade just. Riverina Racing moved to Young on Tuesday night. It was a big night for Mitch Turnbull. He piloted three winners. He had success at Bathurst last night too. He drove one winner on a great night for the Turnbull family. With Lady Angelina, the leader's getting tired, but it'll win by about a dozen, and the Rainbow Beach too good. Ten races, seven of them won by a Turnbull. Nathan had a driving training double. Amanda drove a double. Beale Street sneaking along the inside, pinches it. Beale Street. So did Emma. And it still has phased the light. It's starting to blouse them out wide. They hit it. I think it'll get there, Faye. The other three races on that program taken out by the Blake Fitzpatrick, Sophia Arvidsson combination. And Laputi down to the line, a winner. All the way, second will go to St. Emilian. It was a great day at Armidale on Sunday. Dale March had a driving training double. But their Carnival of Cups meeting had an early fairy tale with 16-year-old Jack Buckman driving his first career winner for Jared Hetherington. The feature, a boil over, won by Richard Williams and Caitlin McElhinney. Warfare in front, but got a shop early. He's charging home over the top here and got a shop early. Well done to Armadale Club. The Carnival of Cups program now moves to Penrith tonight for the time on a Renshaw Cup. Then on to Coolerman on Easter Monday. Thanks, John. Metro Racing was hosted by Bankstown on Monday and Group 1 placed three-year-old filly Let's Party Baby broke her maiden in style. But Let's Party Baby with 100 metres left to go has really cruised away from them here, has got them well and truly covered and goes home to score an armchair drive for Geary in the open. We saw dual Group 1 winning mayor Michelle Lee Mack win the last on the program, part of a winning double for Dean and Kerry McDowell. 11-year-old veteran Clement Sorrell won his 30th race at start 297 for trainer David Waite, taking his earnings to just under the 200,000 mark. And there was a special win for the family of the late John Red Hot Jeffcoat when the horse named in his honour took out race three for Tian Sutton and Glenn McElhenney. Jeffcoat packing plenty of power, 50 to go. Jeffcoat too good. Glenn had a winner at Menangle on Tuesday as well with El Jacob winning at a nice price for Barry Fagan. That program dominated by Cameron Hart who closed it out with a driving treble. Check in, shooting Island, Platinum Revolution all running home late but the favourite just comes clear late and goes home to win a town echo. A nice lead in that for Cam as he heads home to the Riverina this weekend, 12 months on from him claiming his first ever Group 1. Now I'll leave it to Phoebe Betts to say goodbye. Don't forget to keep your eye out for the Renshaw Cup tonight at Penrith before the Riverina Championships on Easter Saturday. You can catch it all on Sky Racing and a full wrap next week on the Sprint Lane.